With your coast-to-coast -coast forecast details, I'm meteorologist Gretchen Mischik. Perhaps you're dreaming of a white Christmas while well, your best chance for snow perhaps is in the Pacific Northwest as many locations throughout the country have been uh, enjoying some milder temperatures, I guess you could say, for late December. But certainly not the situation out at Mount Hood in Oregon. The wet weather has inundated the Pacific Northwest. It has been raining heavily in the lower elevations and snowing heavily in the upper elevations elevations as we look at the view of Timberline Lodge, which is up on Mount Hood. At the peak of Mount Hood, the winds have been gusting up to 80 miles per hour, and we'll have a lull in the action today before another system rolls in heading into the end of the weekend, and that will be bringing in another round of heavy snow and high wind for the mountains. Across the rest of the nation, not as exciting. Uh, high pressure remains in place throughout much of the central and southern plains, so getting a head start on your holiday travel, certainly no concerns for any wet weather throughout the central U.S. Lake effect snow also continues to affect portions of the northeast, especially across uh, western New York and into upstate New York, one of the first significant snowfalls of the season occurring in those locations. Heading through the day on Sunday, wet weather will be developing across portions of the central plains out ahead of that system. Warm air will be surging into the Ohio River Valley. That system is set to move eastward into early next week with most of that precipitation coming in the form of rain across the central U.S. Only the far northern tier of the region seen some mixed precipitation. High temperatures across the country looking at 20s and 30s in locations surrounding the Great Lakes. Notice all that sunshine for most locations across the eastern half of the country. 60s and 70s down toward the Gulf Coast. The wet weather, it's all out west from Seattle down to San Francisco.